I'm going to do a super quick video about changing the bearings in a Vitamix jug. Now these uh, blades and the whole um, fitting there is actually available on eBay for about £11.99 together with the tool to actually undo this. So for many people it will not be worth repairing the bearings but for the people who are old school and people who want to save a few pounds this video will be of interest first thing you have to do is get this undone now you can get a special tool from Vitamix or you can make your own this is just out of a piece of wood here cut down at the end with a hole in the end that will fit in there socket through there and it'll allow you to screw that bit off like so now if you don't have the wherewithal to make up a very simple piece like that you might also get away with using a standard plumber's wrench just to put in there and twist that off. They're not on there particularly tight so you might get away with that. You've screwed this bit off, the middle bit will just lift out or you may have to tap it out. I've had this out before so it comes out fairly easily but often it'll be stuck in there with grease and all sorts of other stuff. The um, blade is held on I think by 10 mil nut or something like that and there are two washers rather than circular holes with square holes make sure you don't lose them there's one on top and there's one underneath once you've got this bit out here all you need to do is press this out to reveal two sealed bearings in there now that bearing is no longer sealed the top seal has disintegrated which is why dirt and grime has got inside that bearing which is why it no longer works now i'm going to actually use a ball joint press because i do work on cars and i just happen to have one of these but you'll probably find there are other means of getting this out not least simply whacking it with a hammer but make sure if you do whack the top of this with a hammer you put the nut on first so you don't damage the threads but i'm just going to use a ball joint press because i happen to have one here good thing about a ball joint press is it has that hole there which just allows you to put that in and then this is just going to press down on there. I'm going to tighten this up. I now have a socket set here, so I'll use just a standard plumber's wrench. In theory, all I need to do is tighten this ball joint press up, and that bearing should pop straight out of there. I don't think it's in there very tight. And there you go. Just pops straight out. So this will come apart like this and this bearing still needs to come off there and the ball joint press is just slightly too big to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bash on top of here with a hammer. But before I do that, I'm just going to actually put that nut on there because I don't want to damage the threads. Okay, and there we have it. It's all a bit heat wobbled, so I'm just using the top of a pickaxe that I happen to have here, but it doesn't matter what you use, just so you can take that through like that. And that will reveal the bearing like this. Now these should be sealed on both sides. This one isn't anymore, um, which is why it's so rough and knackered. And there's still a bearing in here, which we have to tap out. So you'll end up tapping out two bearings. It's just a matter of tapping them in, and that is job done. Now if you're unlucky when you're doing this, you won't be able to get the second bearing out. It'll be stuck in there and it'll disintegrate and the centre race will come out leaving the inner race in there probably rusted solid. Now at that point you're probably just better off going and buying the whole new fitting but not being one to give up we're going to see if we can get that out, a bolt in there and then bash it out. So let's first of all just see if we can round off the corners just using a finger file and try rounding off the corners and seeing if we can bash that in there and then bash it out again. So I've just rounded off the edges of that nut and there's a very slim chance that I'll be able to bash that into there and then bash it out the other way and then that bearing race will come out. As I say, there's a slim chance of doing that without welding it or gluing it. We'll try that first and if that doesn't work, we'll switch to plan B. Okay, we've got that pretty well wedged in there and now what i'm going to try doing is from the other side screwing that in like that and seeing if i can bash that straight out it's highly unlikely to happen as a work side but let's try it no unfortunately not okay plan a didn't work so we're switching to plan b which is to heat this thing up with a map torch see that 
makes any difference. But before you do that, make sure you take off the rubber O-ring, otherwise that will burn. Okay, that's the rubber O-ring off. Now let's heat that baby up and see what happens. Just going to put it on here so I don't set fire to the wood. Okay, gas is about to run out. Let's try that. Let's bash that as hard as we can. See what happens. I do believe that has done it. Would you believe? I wasn't holding out much hope. That has actually got that bearing out. We can now set about putting some new bearings in there, putting the whole thing back together. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's the bearing that came out easily. That's the second one that disintegrated. It's still got the nut wedged in there. And um, these are just standard skateboard bearings. I'm going to run down to the local skateboard shop and get some of those, bash them back in there, put the whole thing back together. A lot of people, after they've replaced the bearings, end up with a leak in their Vitamix. And you need to make sure when you put this back together that this screws down all the way. Often you get a whole load of grease and other rubbish stuck in the threads so make sure you go over the threads with a wire wheel or wire brush and clean out all the gunk and that you can get that to screw down all the way and it doesn't stop halfway down and fool you into thinking you've tightened it up because that will give you a leak in your Vitamix. I'm just going to finish this video now um, and show you where you can get the bearings from but uh, don't throw away your old bearing because when you get your new bearing you're going to be using that to bash on the new bearings. There's a huge range of these bearings. If you type skateboard bearings into eBay, you'll see a ton of them. You can get 16 of them here for £5.19. So if you've got any skateboards or kids' heelys or anything like that to fix, um, you can use the bearings. You don't need to do that. Obviously, if you're a commercial operation, you've got lots of Vitamixes, then you can have a whole load of spare bearings.